everybody. It is 10, 11 a.m. A little bit later of a start to the day than I wanted, but I was up until late last night door dashing. I made $92 in four and a half hours, which averages about $20.50 an hour before taxes and expenses, which isn't great, isn't bad, but I feel like right now with the state of DoorDash, I really can't complain too much. If you couldn't tell by the name of the channel, this is full-time side hustle. We have multiple side hustles out here that we are doing, making a full-time living. I have a business that I started in 2020, and that is real estate media. So today I have a real simple task. I'm gonna be doing some exterior photos of a commercial real estate property, making a quick $225. I'll be door dashing later on in the day. And man, I hope you guys are eating healthy. I hope you guys are exercising. I hope you guys are listening to audiobooks, And I hope you guys are doing as many side hustles as possible in 2023, because this is our year. We have to take it up a couple notches, guys. Let's set ourselves some goals. Let's crush them goals. And then let's set ourselves some bigger goals. a Starbucks hopefully uh, there's enough room in here it looks kind of like a small Starbucks but hopefully I can scope myself out a little table and get this work done let's go So anyone who's familiar with personal finance probably already knows who Dave Ramsey is his theory on building wealth is get out of debt stay out of debt and limit your expenses and to be honest that same thesis really kind of stays true with anything else that's difficult in life if you want to lose weight the first thing you want to do is get yourself out of a caloric surplus meaning stop eating the junk food so that's kind of the way i look at doordash i'm over here doing these side hustles during the day maybe you have a nine to five and at night that's usually the time where we all like to go out and spend money right but my promise to myself in 2023 is rather than spending money when I get home, I'm gonna turn on that DoorDash app and I'm gonna make money. Look at it like instead of going out and spending $100 at the mall, I went out and I earned $100. That's a $200 difference. You do that over time and you're gonna build wealth, I promise you. It's about to be five o'clock rush hour soon. It's three o'clock right now. So I need to get my ass home before I get stuck in traffic. So I'm just catching the front end of it. It's gonna take almost two hours almost two hours to get home i had a dash scheduled for 4 p.m obviously i'm not gonna be able to make that so hopefully uh, it will let me reschedule and it looks like i will be doing a late night dash i'm not complaining though it is what it is i kind of like these late night dashes all right everybody it's 6 30 p.m i was able to push my dash time back so i should have a solid at least three hours to dash hopefully i can make 75 dollars because if i hit 75 dollars that means i made over 300 dollars today which is always awesome i'm not gonna lie i was feeling tired i'm sore from the gym but it's a new year so we're out here setting goals eating clean exercising making money saving money so that's exactly what we're gonna do so I'll take you guys along to this dash. I actually need to start my dash right now or it's gonna cancel on me, so let's roll. All right, just dropped off the first order and I just realized that that is the first order delivered from my $10,000 DoorDash challenge. So that's awesome. I am gonna count uh, my last night's shift though, the $92 I made because I wanted this paycheck to be the starting paycheck of my $10,000 challenge. Pretty excited about that. So now I'm at exactly about $100. So I just need to do that a hundred more times. Done so much driving today, needed some gas. Look at this, man. The winter has not been nice on this car, man. So far, it's been an extremely low paying shift, but it is what it is. We're gonna keep on grinding. And you know, that's the thing about gig work, guys. You guys wanna do gig work? You wanna be self-employed? It's not gonna be as stable as a nine to five or part-time job. 
and you just have to ride the ups and you gotta ride the downs. Picked up a nice $11.50 order. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is a wrap for today. Only was out there for three hours, made $49.25, and uh, dropped off five deliveries. I think that boils down to about $16 an hour, which I think that might be my lowest paying DoorDash ever which is kind of crazy. But again, guys, it's not just about how much you make an hour. I mean, that is important at times, but it's not just about your hourly pay and all of that stuff. It's about the fact that instead of me being out drinking beers and gambling on sports or shopping at the mall, I was out here making money, even if it was only an extra $50. So for the day that puts me at $275, which again, I wanted to hit 300, but we came close. And then for the $10,000 DoorDash challenge, I think I'm doing this off the top of my head. I think I'm at about 100. $141. I'll put it on the screen. I didn't knock off a huge chunk, but guess what? Rome wasn't built in a day. It's incremental things that you have to wake up and do every single day that show the biggest results. This whole thing is a marathon, not a sprint, guys. You don't get instant gratification. You don't get instant results. And this is one of those things, guys. Doing side hustles like DoorDash, you're not going to get instant results. You're not going to be able to buy a house immediately, but do this over time and you will build wealth. Let's get out of debt. Let's save money. Let's make more money. Let's make investments. Let's eat healthy. And let's stay on our grind for all of 2023 and beyond. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Show your boys some love. Click subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.